The most powerful thing that changed my life was meaning. I said, what does this mean? Because out of every tragedy, out of every pain, it only gets healed when we find a deeper meaning. When we find there's a higher purpose in it. The truth hurts, but you grow from pain. You can't know how to deal with success. You can't know how to deal with failures. You can't know how to deal with the bumps in the road that if you haven't had a taste of everything. And if you and I want to look at the quality of our life, there's only way to find it. One way, really, that's real. How do you feel every day? Everyone is going to build their self-esteem around something. And being able to identify what you build your self-esteem around is critical. Once you identify what it is that you're proud of that makes you feel good about who you are, you need to ask yourself one very simple question. Does that move me towards my goals or not? Our life is, is a combination of a certain amount of time and energy. Time is rolling away for all of us at the same pace. If you sit, it rolls away, if you sleep, it rolls away, if you do something, it goes away, if you don't do anything, it goes away. If you're happy or miserable, it goes away. Time is running out for all of us. So it's only the energy that you can do different things with. To me, there's no such thing as luck. All luck is preparation meeting opportunity. All right, nothing's just going to happen. You know, everybody say, it's all on you. It is all on you. There's other people that can educate you and help you, but you take these different experiences that you learn that stick with you. I mean, you may not remember a whole lot when you were four years old, but there's certain memories, there's certain things. You can use them to either harness you to greatness or you can use them to kind of just keep you where you're at. And most people are just satisfied with at. There's always a next level. Your definition of greatness and what you want to achieve could be totally different than somebody else's. Don't ever sit in a belief, a mental state, anxiety, worry, anything, unless it's moving you towards your goal. But if it's not moving you towards your goal, stop. Stop. Like, why are you doing it? Only to get successful at, at anything, all right? <laughs> Either you're being attacked or you're attacking. I'd rather be the person that's attacking. That's the difference between those individuals that like really, really make it and the other ones that just make it. The source of human experience is within you. Joy or misery, agony or ecstasy, pleasure or pain, everything comes from within. If you understand this much, this one fundamental thing has to get across to all the human beings on this planet. Your experience, is entirely determined by you. Karma means action. That means when we say your life is your karma, we are saying your life is entirely your making, hundred percent. What happens in the world, there are many, many forces involved. What happens within me, it's one hundred percent me. You are unhappy and unfulfilled because you are not in a position where you are being challenged. And in the absence of you being challenged, it's impossible for you to fulfill. You are in a position where you can't fail, you are also in a position where you will never be fulfilled. And so when I finally figured that out, it was, okay, I need to go chase something that I can fail at. Not to fail, but because of the possibility of failure, guaranteeing that I will and I will grow from it. You are, we're trying so hard in our lives to fit in. We try to fit into certain groups, you know, among certain friends, yet the people we idolize are most are the ones that stand out. But when you're prepared, there is no fear. There is no fear of failure, okay? Because even if you've walked out of something and you feel like you failed at it, your preparation is so strong that you're gonna take that failure and turn it into the outcome you desire. And most people stop at failure. Okay? We've all failed at things. I'm gonna continue to fail at stuff, right? It's the most powerful tool you can use, but it all depends on how you use it. You know? 
what is that thing that you don't feel like you can admit that you want to know more about than anyone else on this planet that the more you went into it the more you learned about it the more you obsessed over it the more you acquired the skill set needed to be great at that thing that you were having a better and better time and that what would failure look like could you fall on your face every day could you be ridiculed by your family every day for this and still love it right now everyone listening to these words i promise you they know what it is they just don't want to say it because it might be something that embarrasses them you got to be bold enough to live the life you're meant to live that's just that i can't give that to you So pain is a good thing physically because that is your preservation, self-preservation mechanism. But suffering is something that you do in your mind. So pain that happens in your body, you take it in your mind and multiply it a thousand times or a million times depending on how capable you are <laughs> and suffer it a million times over. Right now, most human beings are like this, what happened ten years ago? they can still suffer. What may happen day after tomorrow, they already suffer. They are not suffering life, they think they are suffering life, they are not suffering life. They are suffering the two most fantastic faculties that human beings alone have, a vivid sense of memory and a fantastic sense of imagination. So it's the same thing with failure, it's how you use it, it's that drive inside of you. Okay, it's what we talk about, the dark side. The dark side is filled with failure, but it's the fuel that burns you like something that's never burned inside you before. When I'm dropped to my knees, do not get on your knees with me. Do not put an arm around my shoulder and tell me everything is going to be okay. Stay standing. Offer me a hand. Pick me back up to my feet. Brush me off and paint a vision for success. Show me how I'm going to overcome this. Help me become the person that I'm trying to be. Help me be the person you believe I can be. And rebuild my sense of confidence. Rebuild that thing that I need to move forward.